Hi, we're looking at uh, a, a tooth model, and you may have seen this tooth model before, or if not, you probably will see it. This is a model of a tooth, this is a tooth, and this is a dental implant supported tooth. And we're going to talk about how dental implants differ from natural teeth and why there are some special considerations. After all, we would like to, if at all possible, if we're placing a dental implant, we want to place the dental implant at the same time as we extract the tooth. Why? The socket is already there. We don't have to do any drilling. And who wants to have drilling done when you don't need to have it done? But there are differences in the shapes uh, of natural teeth and dental implants. So there's some special things that we have to do which will actually benefit you. So what I'm going to do is just take the crown off of this natural tooth, and I'll take the crown off of this natural tooth, and there's something you'll notice right here. You'll notice that the shape of the tooth is oval. It's oval shaped. You see that? Let's take out this implant supported tooth and now let's take a look at the implant and take a look at the implant itself and notice that's round. So if let's assume we were to extract this tooth and we were to have an oval shaped socket, well we'd be putting a round implant in an oval shaped socket. That means there's going to be a little bit of a space on this side and a little bit of a space on this side between the implant and the socket. All sorts of things could get in there. And so what we want to make sure is the bone grows against the implant. How do we do that? We extract a little bit of blood from your arm, and then we spin that blood down in a centrifuge and get some platelets. And those platelets have your growth factors in them. We can concentrate those growth factors and put them in the space between the implant and the tooth, and the, between the implant and your bone. Now, when you have uh, an immediate implant place, you'll have your own growth factors encouraging the bone to grow around that implant. So we're going to show you that in a little diff different view. I'm going to show you a CT scan, and uh, we'll take a look at it that way as well. See you in a minute. The position of your implants is absolutely critical to having a successful result. Let's take a look at an implant design that we're doing right now. Here are two implants. Here are the crowns that will go on those two implants. And of course the implants and the teeth need to be lined up properly so that the patient is biting correctly on the upper teeth. If we don't do that, what's the reason for the dental implants? So if we take a look at this section right here, what you're looking at is a cross section of one of those implants where this is the cheek side of the bone, this is the tongue side of the bone. Notice where the implant has to be in order to line it up properly with the upper teeth. If I put the implant in here, it wouldn't be in the right position. And look at where the implant has to be. Here's the bone right here. It's absolutely critical that the implant have the correct depth as well as the correct uh, dimension from outside to inside to be sure that things line up properly. There's only one way I can do that well, is number one, design this on the CT scan, and then make a surgical guide which will help me line up the implant in the correct position. So once we have the implant design on the software, we have our laboratory in California make this surgical guide. And you may be able to see this, there's a little sleeve right here. So that when I put my drill in, I'm drilling in the exact place where that implant is supposed to be to be sure that it lines up properly with the bone and where the future teeth are going to be. Surgical guides are absolutely critical in several cases, um, or in many cases, in order to be able to be sure that the implant lines up both with the teeth and the bone. And it's up to us to work together to make sure we have the best result possible. One thing that we've taken advantage of recently is a new technology. Actually, it's not so new. It's been out for about nine years. It's the all zirconia implant. It's called the Cerarut implant. Now, for those of you who are looking for a metal-free solution, um, there is an all zirconia implant. There's no metal in it whatsoever. For those of you who are looking for aesthetics, that's also a reason to think about a zirconia implant. I want to show you first what a titanium look implant looks like. And here's a titanium implant here. You can see it's gray. It's metallic. And of course, titanium is the mainstay of dental implants. 
That's what we've been using for the past 30 years. Now, the nice thing about titanium is that it's used for hips, it's used for knees, and uh, the acceptance rate in the body is very, very high. And certainly we'll be using titanium implants for many, many years to come. But if we want to take a look at something that may be just a little bit different, um, this whiter implant is an all zirconia implant. Now the all zirconia implant um, is white, as you can see, and the advantage of this is that, particularly if you have thin gum tissue, uh, instead of seeing possibly a little bit of gray through the gum tissue, here you have a white implant, and that white implant um, may be more uh, cosmetic for you. So we'll be showing you the white implant, the Cerarude implant. Uh, we've been using those uh, for uh, a year, uh, primarily on out-of-town patients who are requesting it. So there, the, there you have it. Um, the technologies that are here are technologies that we brought to you in order to make things more predictable for you. PRGF, plasma rich in growth factors, to assure that you have as much bone growth around your dental implant and your bone grafts and soft tissue grafts as possible. Um, the surgical guide, making sure that we design your dental implant prosthesis on the software to make your surgery go more predictably and to line the implants up as perfectly as possible. And finally, the Cerarude implant, the all zirconia implant, which um, may improve aesthetics, particularly in thin gum tissue cases. We'll be happy to talk to you more about this as you proceed with your examination visit. Thanks for coming in.